Now, everyone is talking about AI, machine learning, prompt engineering. They're talking about data science, data analytics, big data, more than they are talking about the cloud. Why? And is the cloud still important? And why do you have to learn it now? This is what we are going to answer in this video. But please consider subscribing, activate the notification so you get all the updates on all the new videos. A like and share would definitely help the video reach a lot of people and help them become more aware on what's going on and the importance of the cloud and why they have to learn it now. And I'm going to discuss that in this video. Instead of going and searching for a couple of articles, why don't I have the AI, ChatGPT, go out, search the web and bring me the summary answer for this question. What is the importance of cloud for AI engineers, data scientists, machine learning engineers, MLOps engineers, developers, network engineers, and cybersecurity engineers? And must they learn it now? Is it critical that they should learn it now? And here was the answer. Why cloud skills matter now for everyone? So it's not specific to infrastructure engineers or cloud and DevOps or automation architects. It's not limited or the need and the importance is not limited to these professions. So the cloud isn't optional anymore. It has become the backbone for everything from development to AI models, security operations, and global scale infrastructures. And every role benefits directly from the cloud capabilities. And if we break it down for AI and machine learning engineers, they need to access scalable GPUs and TPUs and storage for training large models. The easiest and the fastest and the most scalable is the cloud. Use cloud native tools from Google, from AWS, and from Azure in order to, use, to do the machine learning or the training. Easily deploy and serve models via API containers and edge services. If we look at data scientists, they need data lakes, they need data warehouses, they need services like BigQuery, Redshift, Snowflake, instantly. They don't have to build it, they don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure and servers and managing that. They can use managed Jupyter, Jupyter Notebooks and auto-scaling compute environments very quickly for development or testing and production, of course. Collaborate seamlessly with engineers and MLOps teams. For MLOps engineers, the pipelines will end up deploying in the cloud. The cloud is critical for them. Using Kubernetes managed services, Terraform serverless platforms for scalable deployments, fully managed by the providers, so you can focus on your machine learning or AI or data science and forget about the underlying infrastructure. Securely store, track, and version models and artifacts. For developers, it's obvious. This is where all the startups and the companies are now deploying their applications, features, and so on. For network engineers, they need now to manage hybrid infrastructures. So they need to know the cloud side and how that integrates with the on-premises side in order to work. For cybersecurity engineers, now they need in the hybrid model and all that, or even for testing, even uh, for security tools, it's in the cloud. Most of the security tool, even the endpoint security providers, they are functioning from the cloud. Should they learn it now? Is it critical to learn it now? With what we have said, that it's becoming the default backbone for any innovation and for any services, then it is required to be learned right now. So if you are in any of these environments or any of these professions or aspiring to move to these professions, have enough cloud knowledge that is going to make you unique among the teams because if everyone is only a data scientist but you know data science and also know the cloud then you have an edge if you are an mlops engineer and you don't know how to deploy in the cloud then you are at a disadvantage and you have to fix that if you are an ai engineer and you are with a lot of smart people then you knowing the cloud gives you an edge so it's always going to make your life easier. It's always going to make you a likable profile. People would like to hire you because you would be saving them, especially the startups and the small company, you would be saving them extra money to hire extra resources or consultants. So you need to learn it now and don't think that you are going to be the strongest in your field if you don't know what the cloud is and how to use it at least at a high level or for the limited services that you would like to use. 
And while you are learning, you need to deploy. The easiest is if you know what you are deploying on. I know you can find some YouTube videos that will tell you click here, click there, click here, click there, but then a problem happens. What would you do? Wait for the next video or go and troubleshoot yourself something that you don't know much about. Cloud is crucial to your career, no matter what that is, and it's going to continue to be as such because that's the easiest platform, the quickest, the most scalable, and it's pay as you go. You only pay when you use it. All right, so hopefully that was beneficial. Don't ignore learning the cloud, and that should be right now. And please consider subscribing to receive the new videos, activate the notifications, and as I mentioned, the like and share so it can reach more people and can benefit more people. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.